Welcome back everyone. This is episode two of the FC Turbo Build Series. On today's episode, we'll be revising the ignition system as well as building a temporary intake for when this car is NA. For the ignition, we're going with four AEM smart coils in a direct fire configuration. And the reason that we're doing that is because the Haltech will unfortunately not support the FC uh, stock ignition setup, which is basically a wasted spark for the lead-in coil plugs and then uh, independent fire for the trail-in. So I'll be going through this pretty in-depth in terms of the wiring. So uh, stay tuned and uh, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is inside the car, we're gonna make a connection to a fuse and the battery. Um, we're gonna protect that with a 40 amp fuse and that output of the fuse is gonna feed into this relay. Um, this relay is gonna power all four coil packs. Um, and we're gonna run a wire into the engine bay um, and then the relay will be triggered by the ignition switch. Alright, so we have our relay hooked up to the battery. We have a switch coming from the ignition switch, turning it on. And then we're running this power feed into the engine bay. So here's our 12 volt power coming from the cabin. Um, that's the output of that relay. And we'll mount the coils somewhere over here. So I'm just going to leave this wire like so. Um, just staring at this empty intake is driving me insane. So I'm going to just fab something up real quick. That is much better. All right, so now we can move on to the coil packs again. The first thing I'm gonna do is just remove um, the lead-in and the trail-in coil packs. So you have your lead-in over here and your trail-in. Um, we'll make some way for our new coil packs. We'll start thinking about a mounting solution. Um, but for now, we'll remove them and wire the new ones up. All right guys, so now we're gonna start to assemble the pins that go into our coil packs. And you'll notice that it actually has a diagram on the pack itself. So A is the trigger, so this is the output from the ECU. B, C, and D are all gonna be looped into the same ground and we're gonna ground this on the rotor housing. Um, there's a screw that we'll use to ground everything there. And then E is a switch 12 volt line. So that's gonna be coming from our relay. Um, so the connector looks like so. It comes with the pins as well as the connector. And I'm gonna walk through how to build this. Okay, so if you look at the pin and you look closely, there's actually two parts that are gonna be crimped. You have the part right here that's gonna crimp on the actual wire. And then this is gonna crimp on the sheath end. Um, so you can, crimp them independently, or we could get a ratchet and crimper, they'll handle both at the same time. All right, let's get started. Since this is going to be green, I'm gonna use for our ignition one. So that's gonna be our trigger. So that will be the first pin. So the way that this waterproof connector works is you'll slide the wire through first, and then we'll crimp our connector on, and then we'll pull it back to seat it. All right, so you'll just Place the pin carefully in the crimper so that both claws will be crimped down onto the wire. Squeeze. And as you can see, the claws have grabbed into the wire and it should be really strong. And then what you'll just do is pull this down 
make sure that orientation is right and pull back you should feel it snap into place all right so now that we have our trigger connection what we're going to do is make our three grounds and what i'm going to do is start off with the 20 gauge wire for each pin and then the outputs i'm going to tie together to the actual rotor housing so we're just going to do the same thing i'm going to slide this through and we'll strip some and we'll get our pin place our wire crimp it down nicely as you can see we have two out of our five pins connected so now we're just going to speed through the rest of these Alright, so we have our three grounds, our signal, now we just have to add in our 12 volt power. Uh, I'm going to try to sneak a little thicker gauge wire in here, uh, it's 18 gauge, we'll see if I can get it to fit. This one was kind of annoying to get in, but we did it. Before we call this completely done, what I'm going to do is cut all of the ground wires to the same length and then we'll strip them. We are going to merge these like so. Then we will connect this to some 16 gauge wire and we're going to solder this connection. All right, now we could call this done. We have our power, our ground, and then our signal wire that's going back into the cabin to connect to the ECU. So now we gotta do this three more times, the whole process. Cue the time lapse. All right, well, we're finally done with our connectors. Everything is good to go. Now we just have to think of a mounting solution for these coils. All right, mounting wise, this is what I'm, I'm thinking. I'll uh, put two coils side by side like this on this side and then on the opposite side, I'll flip them just so the holes will be here and here. And then I'll just Put a stud or a bolt to hold that into place and then this right side i've allocated to mount to the car so uh let me just show you where that's going to go real quick so i'm thinking like so we have these three studs right here so this will come off of that and then our coils will be on the left All right, so here's how we're gonna mount them. We'll be doing two coil packs on each side. And we just have a bolt going through, and then we'll put a nut over here. And then we're gonna trim these nylon spacers so that we could have something that these coil pack mounts are resting against. Here are our coils in their final mounting positions. Now we'll just mount this to the chassis. So here's what I ended up with. I couldn't quite get it to fit using that third stud over there by moving this to the right, just because that last, this coil pack right here was hidden. But uh, I think this should be good. Um, seems pretty sturdy and uh, it should be easy to wire up to the spark plugs as well as our 12 volt power source. Uh, so let's get everything connected. 
All right, how I'm gonna wire these up, I'm gonna do this as the front lead-in, this will be the front trail-in, this will be the rear lead-in, and the rear trail-in. All right, so we have our grounds all connected, and on that post right there, now we just have to trim these power lines and connect it to our feet. All right, so everything's hooked up. We have our power, our grounds. And now we just have to run our signal wires back through the cabin. But before I do that, I'm just gonna cover these so they look a little bit nicer and then we'll just route them through. Alright, so we have our power source and signal wires coming from the cabin. And they are routed to our coil packs. We have our plugs all hooked up. We have our grounds. At this point, the car is wired up for direct fire. We'll just have to make the necessary ECU changes and then make some custom spark plug wires. But uh, I'd say we did pretty good today. All right, well, that's going to be a wrap for today's episode. We have our coil packs mounted and ready for direct fire in the next episode. We'll finish up some small things and hopefully get this thing started up on the Haltech. So press that like button if you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.